Yes. About time. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, glad you could be here. I'm actually in South Texas right now on Canyon Lake. I'm actually in the Guadalupe River. I ran about 15 minutes upstream from where I'm staying at and I launched at boat ramp eight. So a lot of people ask kind of where I'm, where I'm fishing. And this video is actually sponsored by Crappie Monster. I was on this part of the river actually uh, earlier this morning and I wanted to film this little, little video before I left back to Wisconsin. And the thing about this specific bait these are actually the fireflies by crappie monster and what i'm thinking for when i use them back in wisconsin not just for crappie fishing but for drop shotting for bass um, they have kind of the look of a mayfly um, a larger mayfly larva so i'm thinking smallmouth for bass fishing but since i'm here in south texas i want to catch some giant south texas crappie so i hooked up a 1 ounce orange jig just a orange jig you can buy it pretty much anywhere I got the white and chartreuse crappie monster firefly. So if you want to pick up some of these baits, these crappie monster fireflies, this is the white and chartreuse firefly. I'll leave a link below. At checkout, just type the word in, flopping crappie. All one word, flopping crappie. You get a nice discount and uh, you get some of these baits. And I'm gonna show you right now. Crappie love them. Crappie love them. All right, I'm gonna set you up on the live scope so you can actually see these fish actually hitting the jig. and. Uh, I have a buoy somewhere. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Let's get set up and ready to go. All right, there's some fish. Oops, are we rolling? All right. These are some fish right here, right in front of the boat. So let's see if we can catch one. It's post-spawn mode. They pushed out from their spawning bays, kind of on a bend of a river here where the current's really, really slow. There's my jig going down. And normally what I'd recommend in kind of, this is stained water. Normally I'd recommend natural colors. However, the main part of this system is very, very clear. And that's why, oh, here comes a fish. Come on, come on, oh, where'd you go? Sorry, I lost the jig. Where is he? Dang it, that was a fish. The, oh, there he is. There's a fish down there. Going through some wood right now. But normally the water is actually very, very clear, which is why I'm using a bright color pattern instead of natural colors, like let's say a black and chartreuse or um, some sort of blue. I'm sticking with the white, chartreuse, and orange. That's just my theory. Comment below if you got a different theory on that. I just think that if a water system is naturally clear and then for whatever reason, We've had a lot of rain, kind of muddied up the water, a lot of uh, washing from the creeks flowing into this river system, kind of muddied up the water. So I'm gonna always go with brighter colors on clearer lakes and natural colors or darker colors on muddy water lakes. But uh, let me know if you have a different opinion in the comment section. Oh, there he is. There's one crappie. Got him trolling. He was in open water though. Whoops. Oh. There he is. Got him. Got him on the drop. Oh, it's a good one too. Yes. No! <laughs> um, oh, why did I do that? That was probably a 12 inch fish. Oh, I got one. I didn't even feel it. Oh, because it's a bass. It's a bass. He must have been running with it as he took it. It looks like a fish right there. Dang, that looks like a fish right on that tree. Why 
why won't you come off there? So there's my jig, and that looks like a fish just sitting right on that tree. Oh, because it is a fish, I got him. Crappie. Where's the big girls at? I lost one. Lost one big girl. Forgot to have the camera on. Still not the crappie we want. I need to get back to that big girl. I gave her some time on that tree and I got a tree marked. So I'm gonna go back to see if she's still there. Wow, they choked this thing. Oh, there's one. Come on, smoke it. Yes, got him. Good fish too. Good fish. Well, I think he's legal. He'd probably be about a 10 incher. Let's put him on the bump board real quick. Oh, I think I just went over that brush bar. I think there was more down there. Let's see what this guy is. He might be just shy of 10. All right, nose. Yeah, he's just, oh man. He's just over the 10 mark. He's just over that 10 mark. There's the nose, tail. But you're going back, I'm not keeping you today. All right, let's see if we can get on him here. Oh, there's a fish straight down. Oh, he's coming for it too. Got him, got him. Oh my goodness. I gotta stop boat flipping him. Gotta stop doing that. But there are definitely fish right below the boat. Got him, oh no. They're right below the boat. Yep, got him that time. That's a better one too. Not boat flipping him. Not gonna boat flip him. Well, he's, he's probably, he's a legal fish. I think, I think he's about 10. They're thin. They're definitely post-spawn. Oh, he choked it, he choked it. 10 and a, 10 and a half, 10 and a half or like, oh, he just came out of nowhere. Dang it. There he is again. He's right at the top of the boat. See him chasing it right there? That's, I feel like that's a good fish. He's like right below the boat. There he is, there. oh, there he is right there, come on. Sorry, the numbers are kind of in the way. But he's right here, there's my jig. Here he comes, here he comes. Got him. Oh. oh, it feels like a good one too. I don't know what this is. If this is a crappie, no, it's a bass. Dang. I was going to say, that feels like a good fish. Dang it. I didn't want you, buddy. It's not even that big of a bass. Even those one pound bass feel, feel like a two pound crappie. Not that I've ever caught one, but you know, I can imagine. Dang it, there's a bunch of fish on that thing, I think. It's right on the boat. I think there's a bunch of fish on that. Got him. Yep. Oh, I think there's a bunch more on that fish. There are a bunch more fish on that on that lay down then. Yeah, there's a bunch more there. I'm gonna try to catch a big one to end it. It's usually how it happens and I don't actually catch a big one, but. There's one. Got him. Dang it, I don't think these are, these are not the big ones. 
there's actually a tree right next to it. I'm thinking there's some bigger fish on that tree. Because I could probably catch these. Probably could catch a hundred of these. I don't want to do that. There we go. Come on. Big one. Is that a bigger one? That feels like a bigger one. Because it is a bigger one. Yes. That's going to end it for me right there. Yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my. That was another 12 inch fish. And I suck. Well, let's try to find another one, I guess. That was perfect. Had it on the live scope, everything was just great. The bigger ones are on that tree, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, people are probably commenting, get a net, but I just want one. I don't need a bunch, I just need one. Come on. There's one, hit it. Got him, please be a good one. I don't know. Oh, yep, there he is. It's a better one. That's a better one. Oh, there we go. They're thin because they're so, they were just all post spawn fish. But this is probably, I'm going to guess, 11 and a half, maybe a 12. Maybe. He's just at 11. Whoa, come on. So nose, just 11 and a quarter. 11 and a quarter, but that's gonna end it because I gotta get out of here. All right, well, that's gonna end it. They're thin, post-spawn fish, they're all spawned out. So they're kind of thin. This is, I don't even know, three quarters of a pound maybe, but it's 11 and a quarter. Texas fish. Texas, the last day you've been fantastic to me. First two days, not so much, but go ahead, check this out in the description below and use this discount code right here, Flop and Crappie. Save yourself some money. My entire tackle setup will be in the description below. A lot of you guys ask, you know, what was I using? 10 pound braid, uh, 2000 size, Carbon X reel, seven and a half foot rod, which probably wanted to be using a 10 footer for vertically jigging trees like that, but it's what I had on my deck, so appreciate you watching as always. If you want to stay up to date on what I'm doing, please follow my Facebook page and Instagram page. Sometimes my YouTube channel kind of gets a week or two behind, so if you want kind of live updates, you got to follow both those. Also, if you got any questions, post them in the comments section below or uh, message me on Facebook or Instagram. All right, appreciate you watching again. We will see you. We'll see you next time.